What is going on everybody? Kyle Patrick here and today's video is going to be a little different. If you watched my last video, I said something about how I have something special. I'm going on, I was going on a little trip and um, so yeah, stay tuned. Last weekend marked the 20 year anniversary of the 9-11 terrorist attacks, which took place on Tuesday morning at 8.46 a.m. Following 17 minutes later, when the second plane hit the South Tower at 9.03 a.m., an attack on the World Trade Centers. And within an hour and 42 minutes later, uh, both towers had collapsed, resulting in 25,000 injured and well over 2,990 six uh, fatalities and counting. Now, I was 10 years old during the attacks and I am in upstate New York. And I remember exactly where I was that day. I remember finding out about it. I remember the entire day in vivid detail, as I'm sure everyone knows uh, pretty much in the country where they were, what they were doing on that particular day. Um, it impacted me uh, greatly over the years. I almost feel a sense of appreciation for being able to live through that and to, you know, uh, remember everything. I will never forget that day and I'll never forget any of it. Um, and along with the attack on the Twin Towers by Al Qaeda uh, on that morning, at uh, 9.37 in the morning, uh, Flight 77 was hijacked and uh, flew into the west side of the Pentagon and along with Flight 93, with, which uh, crash-landed due to the heroism of its passengers uh, in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, uh, killing everybody on board. Uh, there is a memorial at these locations, but specifically the one in Manhattan, the Reflecting Pools, which uh, reside in south town of Lower Manhattan. This was the largest single attack in American history. Thankfully enough, I was able to make it down to New York City for the 9-11 memorial service that took place that morning on Saturday and got to spend the day in New York and see the reflecting pools and uh, give my respects and honors to the fallen. And um, I just wanted to experience history. So uh, I have footage from that day, some footage, and uh, I'd like to share that with you. So, uh, here you go. Oh, yeah, good point. <laughs> Didn't even notice the flag. I salute.
is so big. Like, September 11, 2021. This is 
the first tower that came down that collapsed. This means so much to me that we came here. This is what I wanted the whole day. 20 years on the day, 2011. We are in New York City here. 20 years. You're standing in it. This was rubble. I'm so happy to be here. The feeling in the air that day was, I can't explain it. The sky, the atmosphere was exactly like all those years ago on the exact day at the exact time. There wasn't a cloud in the sky, uh, nothing but blue. It's a beautiful day, sunny day. And I didn't even know, but Biden was there, President Biden and uh, former President Obama and Michelle Obama were also attending the memorial. So that was kind of crazy. And I was also interviewed on NBC, uh, Channel 4 News, which is, I believe, the New York City News uh, or NBC for NBC. I cannot seem to find that interview. I've looked everywhere. I can't find it. But yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. I was able to get interviewed. Um, that was pretty neat. And um, but yeah, it was a very, very good service. Um, and uh, let me tell you, at 846 in the morning, you could hear a pin drop. It was so cool to see that everybody was on the same page, had the exact same level of respect. Um, it was very quiet. People were very respectful. News, the newscasters were everywhere. Um, and in the beginning, uh, early on in that morning, it was the memorial was for the families, and then it opened to the public in the early afternoon. So I was able to make my way down there, and uh, it was very emotional. I'm just so glad I got, was able to go and witness history, and uh, just to say I was there. At that exact moment, 20 years later, um, I'm very fortunate, unfortunately, for, for such an awful thing to be able to go there. Um, I was in New York City 10 years ago. However, uh, the new One World Trade Center uh, was in the middle of being built, and Ground Zero was pretty much all gated off. It was all under construction. Um, they had like this blue fencing all around, this blue tarp looking fencing. So I was there, but I was unable to pretty much see anything uh, when it was com uh, everything was completed. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and the footage that I did manage to capture. Um, it was a beautiful day that day and I'm glad I made it out there. And uh, this video um, is a little different, you know, not really reporting on anything newsworthy and sorry it came out a little late takes forever to do this and uh, to get to the right state of mind to kind of just talk about this. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys ever been there or if you guys have seen the site or uh, what you remember from that day, um, what you were doing, you know, comment down below and uh, don't forget to subscribe, I'm trying to post weekly. Um, yeah. And uh, thank you guys very much, and I'll catch you guys real soon.